Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Bad fellow to have around, you know. And your dose, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? Shouldn't you bloody angry? <laughs> but that's true of most spectres. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts have ties. Objects through which they're bound to someone living. You are the opposite of Charles. Good at the practical, terrible at the academic. I hope it's enough. Do you hear that? Over here. Oh, Fardy! Did you see that? Let's follow it. There's a name. Rebecca Hardgrave. You could take on a ghost. Can I join in too? I 
up there. Do you see anywhere that can help? Keep searching here. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. This could be a good spot to cross. of it.
Are you Rebecca Hardgrave? That's my name, yes. How may I help you? Are you the one who's attracting the wolves? Wolves? What wolves? Who are you exactly? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. We're banishers. Do you know what that means? Banishers? That means... You can speak to the living on behalf of the dead. That's part of it, yes. Why, do you have someone in mind? Ferdinando Miller. My Fardy. Death parted us, but my love is strong. I came back for him. I love him so. But not once has he come to see me. I must know why. New Eden's a big place. Where can we find him? We were on our way to Fort Jericho. We were to open a store together. It was to be a new beginning for us both. Together. Yet he's there, alone. If you know where he is, why not just go there? I've tried. At first I was able to visit him, in the quiet as he slept. I'd watch over him. But now... Something hinders me. I cannot reach him. I must know that he is well. There's no delicate way to ask this, I'm afraid. How did you die? We left civilization in New Eden Town for the cold desert of Fort Jericho. The path was steep and rough, and we were greatly burdened. It was hell, but we walked through it together. As we walked, I fell into a daze. I remember little after that. A pain that grew. A great, uncontrollable tremor. Fatigue. A deathly fatigue. Fadi was at my side as ever. He held my hand, bade me sleep. When I opened my eyes, I was here, alone. How did you meet him? It was market day. I'll never forget it. It was rich, exotic, an abundance of treasures from across the known world. I saw him through the crowd. Our eyes met. I didn't know it then, but I was meeting the love of my life. I could not admit it to myself, not at first, but I had to have him. And in the end, I did. We have to go now. Find him, please. Never learn, do they? What are you thinking? It's more of a feeling. Something's wrong. Your senses are sharpening. She certainly didn't tell us everything.
A peaceful place, in different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Your funeral! Hugging all the fun. Think you could take on a ghost? None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? The name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Priest took Williams and that other fella, and off they went, scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. 
Heard any good scuttle lately? The dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth, but now, sir, is not the time. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all. by the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest.
dog. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be in the side than out. Wash with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Just me, you. I felt it too. This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way.
Looks like they were taken by surprise. Can you find a way around the locked door? If there's a survivor, they're not here. We push on. Never learn, do they? Oh, 
A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. You banishers are quite something. That's all her. I'm just the help. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never got to the army, but something like that.
will come back for you, my friend. My sympathy. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me. Waiting for open the gates. Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. I'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap. May God have mercy on their souls. Captain Pennington. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more open, little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. 
the end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer, take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No smith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. I crossed paths with the new Smith party. Thick skin did not make it. Shame. She had a proper head on her shoulders. Without her, the band will suffer. I came across the governor and his flock. They're in the harrows. The fields are in a pitiful state. As is the rest of New Eden. Death hangs upon the wind and courses through the waters. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps and bumps. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. I have other priorities. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? Far from the many wars we fight, you mean? I'd shot enough Frenchmen and more than enough Indians. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son, not mine. It's just, there's a portrait hanging on the wall. A family. I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Tell me more about yourself and your career. I did my duty and had the fortune to return alive. That's all. We who are intimate with war tell no tales. I thought that too. I was wrong. Silence allowed my ghosts to prosper. It is good to tell our stories. If ever I do tell, I'll not be telling you, son. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here.
On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Behind all the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Banishes, may I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love is all. Grief can hang. <laughs> and yet I cannot hold him. I cannot feel his warmth. 
He is there, but he is not there. That hurts. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all. And then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian. Willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been miserable. Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak? I was away from... We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. <laughs> 